Today we're going to quickly go through the installation of the Barista LED lights that I picked up off Amazon. I've installed these lights at a couple of houses and because of that I have lost the clips which hold these lights up. It's not a huge deal though because I'm just going to put together something that will mount these to the ceiling. Here I'm cutting some nylon webbing. I'm just going to toss a screw through that and use that as a little loop to hold the light up. The other option which I actually prefer is to some plumbing strapping or plumbing tie all depending on what you're calling it. As you see here the nylon loop just slips over but the plumbing strapping is even easier. You just take a little piece of it like this, bend it into a bit of a U-shape and screw that to the ceiling. Third option if necessary is to use some electrical conduit clamps to hold up the light fixture as well. I've already planned out my installation a little bit. I know that I plan to do a U-shape around the garage. Main reason for this is with my previous single light source, I would get a lot of shadows when I'm working in certain areas. The kit comes with different ways to connect the light fixtures together. One option is some little jointing connectors that allow you to push each fixture immediately beside the one before it. The other option, which I'm going to use here, are some four-foot cords that you can use to join light fixtures. The reason I'm using the four-foot cords is because I plan to space fixtures a few inches apart. I'm using a laser here, and although not strictly necessary, it will make life a little bit easier just to help me line up my lines around the garage. I figure if you have it, you might as well use it. After you install a light fixture, you're going to want to go and position the next one beside it. Here, I'm holding it up to get a general idea and installing the ceiling clips into the right positions. We're essentially going to continue this process all the way around the room until we get all of the light fixtures mounted. The beauty of this system is because they all connect together with push-in connectors or push-in wires, you don't have to do any electrical work to your house wiring. The kit is powered by a couple cords that have plug-ins on them. Essentially, it lets you plug these lights into any outlet and then the built-in switch will let you turn them on and off. We're going to use this system to attach the lights to our existing ceiling mounted light fixture. The way we're going to do this is we're going to remove the bulb in our ceiling light fixture and install an adapter that turns it into a plug end or a receptacle. From here, we'll plug our lights into our ceiling light fixture and that will allow us to use the switch on the wall to turn these lights on and off. If that didn't completely make sense, don't worry, we're going to go into a little more detail in it later on when we get to that point. For now, we have to continue setting up a string of lights around the garage. We have three lights in, and we have four more to go. The kit came with a set of eight, but I'm only going to use seven in this installation. Much like the previous lights, we're just going to continue the process around the room. We're going to hold the light up to the ceiling, eyeball where it needs to go, install a couple mounting clips that we've made, and then slide the light in. Connect the wires and move on to the next one. The ease at which these lights go up is really one of the most attractive factors of this kit. The other attractive factor is that the kit only costs about $80 Canadian for a set of eight, and they put out a significant amount of light. I've used this kit in a couple different garages at a couple different houses. I've always been very pleased with the results. That being said, I am debating picking up a second kit to add a little more light to this shop, especially with trying to do a little bit of filming here. It's finally time for the last light. Once it's done, I'm going to show you guys how this works with our existing light fixture box. Here's the view of my existing bulb. It's one of those super bright three-part LED bulbs that put out a ridiculous amount of blinding light. We're going to unscrew it from the socket and grab the little Christmas tree light adapter that I mentioned earlier. We're going to screw in this little adapter and it provides us with a two-prong outlet that we can screw our power cord for our light fixtures in. After that, we just head to the wall switch and flick that on. Our lights should turn on and now we have a much brighter workspace to do our work in. You can see here the entire garage is significantly better lit. And once we tuck those wires back up and out of the way, it's time to put away our tools, have a beer, and call it a day. Thanks for watching.